Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215, and right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're going to be doing our final virtual tour of our Kensington series covering the four Kensington neighborhoods here in Philadelphia, PA. Currently we are doing a part two of the old Kensington neighborhood, which is considered one of the cleanest areas in Kensington, located in North Philadelphia on the North Philadelphia East section of North Philly. This is Old Kensington. We just entered Old Kensington. We're at the intersection of American and Cecil B. Moore. This is part eight of the total series. If you guys didn't get a chance to check out the previous parts, make sure you go take a look at the channel. There's eight parts consisting of all four neighborhoods which carry the name Kensington. You have Kensington, known as Upper Kensington, or North Kensington. You have West Kensington, East Kensington, and lastly, Old Kensington, spelled O-L-D-E, Old Kensington. We're at Oxford and American Street. There's a few new buildings on our left that they're working on. We have some rehabilitated buildings on our right, garages that are turned into little venues and eateries. We're at the intersection of Jefferson, American and Jefferson, that large building on our left-hand side, the Clay Studio is also a new addition to the community. We already did the eastern portion of the old Kensington neighborhood, which is the street we're on is American Street. So we did from American Street to our left up until Front Street, which is the borderline. We're going to focus on the western portion, which technically I was supposed to make a right at this corner at Master and American. But unfortunately, there is so much construction in the area that many blocks are closed off i'm very saddened to see that i can't show you guys on my right i really wanted to start off by making a right hand turn right there so we're gonna have to work around all of the delays and closures there's a lot so i do forewarn you this may not be a pleasant drive <laughs> but i'll try to make the best out of the lemons that i'm given when i'm presented with lemons i make lemonade and I like my lemonade sweet. So we're gonna make this left hand turn on Thompson, right American Street and Thompson. We're passing the Dwell Luxury Apartments on our left hand side. As you can see, there's a few construction sites on all corners. All of this is new on our left and on our right. They're still working on a building on our right. Let's make this right-hand turn on 2nd Street. So if you watched the previous old Kensington part before this, you know this is right around where we left off. So I guess it's only right to continue here. Let's make this right-hand turn on Girard Avenue. The neighborhood directly in front of us is Northern Liberties, AKA No Libs which was once its own township, might I add, back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Let's make this right-hand turn on Girard Avenue. We're passing George's Pizza on our right. That's CVS and that whole building on our left is brand new. There used to be a little teeny-weeny pizzeria there. We have Benjamin Moore paint on our left, barbershop on our right, pharmacy on our left-hand side. We're at Germantown. Now, let me be really strategic on what turn I make because I'm telling you, yep, we just ran into more closures. There's a lot of closures in this area. This building on our right-hand side is brand new. It's a new addition. They made it within the last, I would say, several years, to be fair. Heart and Paw, veterinarian grooming and daycare on our right-hand side, as well as living spaces up top. This, that's Liberty Square, that's the name of the site on our right. So, what I should have done was I should have traveled west and then we come up east, do west to east, west to east, west to east. Right now, we are traveling northbound, but with the exception of delays directly in front of us. Ouch. All right, we can't go left. We're passing the old Kensington Pavilion, verifying that we are in old Kensington. But I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Let me try to figure out this whole new traffic pattern because there's many delays in the area. This whole site on our right is brand new, completely new. You can see all of the, the cranes and the bulldozers and all of that stuff. 
You got the cat on our right, the work cat, that machine. The company is CAT Cat. See, we got the cones on the corner. So the block that I wanted to come through was on my right. You see it? That's the one I wanted to come out of, but there's a giant uh, dump truck. So let's make this left. And guess what? This will be like if we just went through that block, but this is going to be the continuation. All right. So we just skipped a block. We can start off our virtual tour here. We are in the old Kensington neighborhood located at Oriana and Master Street. We just exited the 300 block of Master Street as in being a master of your craft. Now the borderline is Fifth Street. Fifth Street is about a block and a half in front of us. We're gonna take this west, east, west, east. We'll try to do as much west, east as we can descending towards the north or I can say ascending towards the north which is to our right the borderline is Cecil B. Moore Cecil B. Moore to our right is the border Gerard Avenue to our left is the border Fifth Street to our front is the border Front Street behind us is the border however we're not going to go towards Front Street because we already covered that yesterday we're at Lawrence Lawrence and Master all of these buildings on our left are new check it out brand new development now that factory on our right hand side that's the umbrella building there used to be an umbrella factory back in the day, way back when. It was abandoned for many, 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 many years. And as of recently, they just made it into luxury apartments, luxury living spaces. They call them smart apartments. Let's make this right-hand turn on Fifth Street. This is the border. See on our right-hand side, luxury smart apartments. They boast pool, parking, pet-friendly, gym, and 24-7 access and concierge. Little City Activity Center on our right-hand side. We have a nice field on our left-hand side, large park. If we go left, we will no longer be in Old Kensington. We will be in the Ludlow neighborhood. So we're not going to go left. I have covered that area, though. The same would apply for Old Kensington. I have covered Old Kensington a handful plus times. However, I haven't did a 2023 version. So it's a new year. It's time for a new Old Kensington video. We're passing Orkney, the 1400 block to our right, the 1500 block to our left. Green catcher space. I'm sorry, dream catcher space. There was a, a bar on our right that had old Kensington painted on it. I have some family that's from the block that we just passed, Lawrence. We're passing Lithgow. They have property over here on Lithgow, too. We're at Fourth and Jefferson. I have some very fond memories at that family member's house for the holidays, like Christmas time and, and New Year's and stuff. This is Ford Jefferson Corner Store on our left. On our right, there's always a bunch of old heads <laughs> hanging out, playing dominoes, and they still got their chairs and all set up there. We're at Germantown. Germantown and Jefferson. 1400 block of Germantown, Ave to our right. We have the Al-Aqsa Islamic Academy on our left. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I do apologize if it didn't sound right. It is a Islamic uh, education institution for children, and I believe young adults. We're passing Cadwalder and Jefferson. The house on our left had a nice spiral staircase on the roof. Interesting, huh? Again, new buildings on our left, and you can hear a generator. You see that generator right there? That's because they're doing construction inside that property. So what you will learn is that Old Kensington, even though it's been gentrified many, many years ago, this is one of the first out of the four Kensingtons that were gentrified. Let's make this left on American Street. Even though it's one of the first areas in Kensington that was gentrified and received a lot of renovation over 20 years ago, it's still to this day being worked on. And mainly the half after American Street, which is the half we're focused on today. Because the first half, closer to Fishtown and Northern Liberties was already uh, done up pretty well. So we're gonna continue traveling forward. We're passing Oxford, Oxford and American, that little, Aluminum siding warehouse on our left that was added about 15 years ago. We have Allure window treatments on our right. This Cube Smart self storage on our right was recently added to this community within the last three years. I would say roughly three, three and a half years. We're at Cecil B. Moore and American. Now, technically, this is the borderline. Road closed, so we don't need to move any further, but we are going to go left. But you can see they're making new buildings on our right. There's a huge lot right here on our left hand side, or now on our right hand side, that will be used soon, I promise you. We're passing the site of where one of my buddies, rest in peace, Esteban, passed away in a car accident. A drunk driver hit him and his other four buddies after they were on their way home from a party in the AM. Uh, four people passed away, they were teens. One of them survived, I believe. 
But my buddy from high school, Mr. Esteban, I used to give him the nickname Ebon because I stuttered. So it was hard for me to say Esteban without saying Esteban. We're passing third and Cecil will be more. So it was very easy for me when I was growing up just to give people short names based on the first letter of their name. Passing a bunch of brand new houses on our left hand side. We're passing Oriana. We're at fourth and Cecil B. Moore. Fourth and Cecil B. Moore Ave. We have new properties on our left hand side. See that whole entire strip of baby blue properties on our left? That's new. Yeah, so let's say if your name was, let's say Tony, I would say, rather than saying Tony, I would say, yo, T Dog or yo, T. Yo, T, what's up, T? It was much easier for me just to say the first letter. Or like, I would say the first two or three letters. We're at Cecil B. Moore in Germantown. Let's go straight. So for example, on our right hand side, we have a nice uh, corner that's known for its murals. Check it out, a lot of graffiti. On our left, it used to be a pallet skit yard. This is all new. All these buildings on our left are new. And all this graffiti on my right, they updated regularly. We have House of Swagger Inc. on our left hand side, Swagger House. It's a tattoo shop. I was very happy to see him located there because I know he came from the West Kensington section. He was located on the Front Street, which was pretty cool to see that he leveled up and he moved over here. Oh man, they closed the block on our right. Shucks. Dang. That lamp factory on our right hand side, lost for rent. One, two, and three bedroom units. That was abandoned for quite some time and then they repurposed it and turned it into lofts. There's an outdoor eatery too. Right there, there's a bar next to the Suttons. So once we cross over Fifth Street, I'm going to warn you, we will no longer be in Old Kensington. We will be in the Ludlow neighborhood. But we got no choice. We can't go left. We can't go right. So let's deal with what we are presented with. We have Wag, the dog, on our right. Check out the dogs painted on that building. Pretty cool, right? Let's make this left on Randolph. I don't want to go any further forward because this is a whole different neighborhood. Although, make note that these buildings right here on our left are new. Brand new properties. They, these on our left were probably made within the last decade, maybe seven to eight years. It's hard for me to put an exact date on all of these properties because properties are getting built on a regular basis. I mean, every year there's new properties popping up. For example, on my right hand side, that whole corner is new. That whole entire corner that says lease on Randolph, that's the 1500 block of Randolph Street. That is completely new. Go ahead, you're more than welcome to go, my friend. I can't go straight and I don't want to go right. So now we have a gentleman in a hard hat that's holding us from going left. Uh, you, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see him. You see his uh, yellow vest? You see, and this is what we go through as residents in the area. Imagine if you had to go somewhere important. You get sent all around in like a circle. I'm going this way. So there's stop signs facing us. Even though this looks like it's a one way, there's stop signs facing us. And when stop signs are facing us, that means it's a two way. Check out this Karen, this vehicle on our left hand side, the one on the corner. Ah, they, the Prius is gonna go block it. I kinda wanna show you guys the Karen. I'm not a fan of them, but it's a different vehicle that you don't see often, you see it? It's a Fisker, Karen Fisker, something of that nature. All right, we're gonna continue moving forward. Now we're entering the old Kensington neighborhood once again. We're passing Orkney, the 1500 block of Orkney. This building on my right, I actually explored it. It was abandoned. A couple years ago, I shot not only a music video in it, but I did a vlog in it. In the basement, there was tons and tons and tons of, of, of checks from the early 1900s, like 1915, 1920, 1945, and so on, right? And there was some like um, checking books and all that stuff. So what I did was like, as a souvenir, I just grabbed a whole stack of checks, right? This is a true, true story. I, I actually still have a couple at, at, at one of my storage properties. We're passing the Salvation Army on our left. So those checks, I took one of them and I put them up on eBay and an outdated check netted me $7 and they paid shipping. I put it up on eBay just to see if anybody was interested in it. Cause you know, people are interested in used um, his, historic currency and even though it's just a check uh people wanted to buy it so yeah and i grabbed i, I would probably say <laughs> like seventeen thousand dollars in checks and imagine what seventeen thousand dollars in checks would have been worth um in in today's time if they were from the early 1900s 
probably a cool maybe who knows a hundred thousand dollars or more hello i actually know this lady right here so i always wave at her i don't know her personally but she's pretty friendly and since we've began saying hello to each other we don't miss a beat so she waved high and i waved back she already knew the vehicle all right so we're back where we started ladies and gentlemen and i am saddened to say we're gonna have to pass what's up sir I thought you were just going to go to Puerto Rico, man. The you out the 12th? Yeah. I'm going to miss you, dog. I'll be around to then. Yo, you trying to know somebody trying to buy them rims off the court? Not at the moment. I mean, how much you asking? I don't know. Don't tell me you don't know because I'll offer you something low. I know. We're going to make a dollar off. <laughs> I'll put them on this, John, to pip it out. All right, bro. All right, bro. My boy, my boy Nick, my boy Nick is um, leaving. It's a good dude right there. He shaved his head bald, but it's cool because he got the beard to compensate for it. <laughs> his beard grows back relatively quick. Wow, he's out. So he's a good buddy of mine. He's into the automotive um, field and he's into graffiti and into the arts and into all of that stuff. And um, he's out. He, he told me a few months ago that he's going to move to Puerto Rico. I, and I was happy for him. You know, I'm always happy for when a buddy of mine moves to better and bigger things. And he has a son in Puerto Rico, which I think is the most important thing to, to him, which is the reason why he's going to be parting ways. Should I, should I wait here? You want me to go? You want me to go? I'll go because last time I came through here and they told me to wait. <laughs> but yeah, so he's out. He told me a few months ago that he was going to go to PR. All right, I'll go because you guys are giving me the heads up to go. All right, let's take Gerard straight to 5th Street. And then from there, we're gonna start taking some southbound, northbound blocks. Cause I haven't been doing too many of the southbound, northbound blocks. We've, we've just been going west to east, east to west. Yeah, there used to be a little warehouse on my right hand side. It had a nice mural, but they knocked it down. I guess they sold it. And that's the story of cities nowadays, right? Especially the big cities. I noticed that Philadelphia, we're gonna make this right on yellow. I noticed that Philadelphia isn't the only city that is going through gentrification because there were many cities in different states such as for example not limited to north carolina and charleston we saw tons and tons of new construction um in 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 florida in in georgia in california and texas and so on we're passing third and gerard this is the free clinic on our right hand side health center six for example if you don't have Medicare and you need to get let's say a cavity done or you have stomach pains or you need to get some medical attention We're passing Oriana Street. We got dog days dog care on our left New building on our left that used to be a little restaurant right there on my left hand side You see that gigantic building that they just made behind this yellow sign on my left. There was a little teeny weeny one story I think it was an Italian joint it was an Italian restaurant or was it a Mexican restaurant? I don't know. I've never eaten there, but I've always passed it I think they had some tomatoes in their artwork Anyway, they knocked it down and they put more buildings on it Engine 29, it's a fire station on our left, Medic 15. We got Car Quest on our right, we're at Fourth and Gerard. Passing Lithgow, the 1200 block of Lithgow. Now we're passing Lawrence Street. We got Mood Indian Restaurant on our right and the Drunk Crab, boiled seafood, hibachi and wings. We're passing a church on our left, St. Benedict's Thrift Store on our right. We're at Fifth and Gerard, this is the border. We can't go any further forward or we can't make a left because we'll be exiting the old Kensington neighborhood. So I wanted to show you guys this block right here. Check it out. Brand new homes on our right, brand new homes on our left. With the exception of a few of them being original. For example, they're selling 1214 North 5th Street, Philadelphia, PA. That's an original building, an older one. It's not one of the new ones, but you guys can Google the address if you want to check out what the pricing is going for. But all of these on our right is new. The few right here on our left is old. And then there's some new ones. There was also a doctor that used to sign off on scripts on this block. He's no longer there. But I, I had a family member. Let's just say I had a family member that used to come to him for, for scripts. And he was a legal practitioner who would just sign off on things, I guess, for a couple extra bucks. Sad, right? But it's the harsh reality of things nowadays. We got taco. Um, how do you say that? Riendo? Riendo? I don't know how to say that, but it's authentic Mexican food on our right-hand side. All right, we're going to make this right hand turn and we're going to start to explore some of the side blocks. For example, we're passing Orkney. 
passing Lawrence. Let's go through Lawrence. I think Lawrence would be a fair start. I would have loved to come from Gerard to our left, but I don't want to keep going around and doing circles upon circles. Matter of fact, you guys didn't see this block in front of us. I think I could do a trick move. I can go straight about a block and make a right, coming up behind the health center, and then come back down. You see? Just so y'all can see this block so y'all don't miss it. Look, it is a brand new building right here on the corner of Lifco. Whoa, pothole in front of us. Is it worth going through? Okay, looks like I can go through it. All right. Yeah, so my buddy's out, but it's cool, man. I'll have a place to visit when I go to PR. <laughs> I don't blame him, you know. He's very similar to me in many ways as far as um, solitary-ism. I don't even know if that's a word, but, you know, preferring to be solo. He has a handful of homies that he hangs with. He's into the arts. He's into automotive. He's into, you know, dirt bikes and scooters and four-wheelers and stuff like that. He's a pretty cool dude, man. Wish him nothing but luck. So if we go forward, we'll be in the Northern Liberties neighborhood. In front of us, the next neighborhood in front of us is very beautiful. I like it personally. Very beautiful neighborhood. Houses in 2003 were selling in that neighborhood for 400,000, 300,000. We're in 2023. So that was 20 years ago, it was selling for three, 400,000. Now that neighborhood in front of us is probably worth an easy, at minimum, 500,000 and up. 500, 600, 700, 800,000. Some of them can be upwards of a million dollars. Check out the engine uh, parking up in its property. You have the firefighters who risk their lives each and every single day to put out fires. We're going to make this right hand turn. This construction on our left is 2,335 square feet, new construction retail for lease. That's where they built on top of that restaurant that I was talking about. You guys get a better look at it. Check out this dude right here. He's on a motorcycle with like a. I swear he got a little system on it, but it's like he um he had like a sailor's hat. He had like some sort of sailor's hat. <laughs> Let's make this right on Lawrence, right next to Mood Indian. I like this little corner building right here on our left-hand side. You see that corner building? It's like a slice of a pie, like a pizza slice or like a pie, a cheesecake or something. I haven't had a piece of cheesecake in whew, seven years. Check out that little one-story building on the left. You've seen it? You got the flower uh, pots and stuff outside. All right. We're entering the 1300 block of Lawrence. We just exited the 1200 block of Lawrence. We're going to continue moving forward. Okay, we're going to continue moving forward, passing where the umbrella building was at. So that large warehouse, you see it on our left, you see a little teeny bit of it sticking out in the picture? So that used to be an umbrella factory. To my knowledge, I believe, we're passing Harlan, and there's two new buildings on our left. I believe, was it Germans? I believe two German brothers came from Germany and started that factory um, from scratch, and it used to be an umbrella factory. So that's a cool little footnote. I think you can Google and learn more about the Umbrella Factory history. I'm not too sharp on it, so I apologize if I didn't provide the most detailed information. But the most intriguing part of that story is two foreigners, two immigrants came to America and started the American dream. Florida tags on our right. Colorado tags on our right. Wow, the one with the roof box, impressive. Colorado is beautiful, full of snow. Recreational plants. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we got Delaware tags are on our left. The most important part of that story that I took from it was the fact that they were not from America. They came here and they created that gigantic building. And evidently for X amount of years before I guess it went abandoned, they had to be successful in some way or another to have a property that large. It's awesome. I admire stories like that. We have a mailman delivering it to a brand new property on our left hand side. 
This is that building that I got those checks from on my right. Matter of fact, we could make it right here on uh, Germantown. We could make it right here. And then show you guys this block. This is gonna take us right back to Gerard, but there's so many closures on my left that I don't even wanna go left. I'm sorry. This whole giant lot on my left is, and look at there's somebody sweeping out front. You see that gentleman on the left of the track can sweeping. That whole entire property on the left is dedicated to the, to the uh, Muslim school. This is Germantown Pizzeria. On my left, they sell strombolis, pizza, hoagies, cheesesteaks, pasta, sandwiches, seafood, and more. We're approaching Jefferson. We're at the intersection of 4th and Jefferson. We're traveling southbound on 4th Street. We're entering the 1400 block of uh, 4th Street. We just exited the 1500 block. We got a tax service on our right. This little lot on my right hand side we're coming up, it's an empty lot. I used to play handball here when I was a kid. Big blue, big um, bouncy ball with our hands. We smack it against the wall. I have to say big blue because it was such a thing as little blue. Wow, they built some houses over here on my left hand side. Incredible, more. I shouldn't be surprised. I shouldn't even say wow anymore. Guys, <laughs> I should be like, oh, pretty predictable, predictable. We passed a nice little block that I could have went through on my right, let's go. I may or may not try to visit that for you guys later. Okay, we got Johnny Tillman or Tillman Apartments on our left-hand side. So this area is two hour parking, meaning parking permit. If you don't have a parking permit and you stay parked for a large amount of time, you will receive a ticket. They enforce things like that. So the residents can have their own parking because in neighborhoods like this that are close to downtown and close to the train and close to public transportation, people who are not from the neighborhood will come from another part of the city, for example, Northeast Philadelphia. They might drive over here or even people from North Philly. They'll drive over here, park here, walk to the train or walk to the important buildings that are minutes away and take up uh, parking that can go to the residents that actually live here. So they did that to you know, give the residents a benefit of the doubt. All right, we're back here again. Wah, wah, wah. All right, let's make this left so you guys can see those uh, Kensington apartments. I think it's like a senior apartment center, but it says Old Kensington. It's over here on the left-hand side, so I'll try to show you that. We already went right. This is where the fire truck was parking up at. I don't want to go right again, so we'll go left. So in front of us, we have two neighborhoods. We have Northern Liberties in front of us, and then we also have, if we pass Fifth Street to our front, we have the Poplar neighborhood. Now all these neighborhoods are loosely divided by just main avenues and certain streets. If you're the average Joe, especially if you're not from here or if you don't just care about this stuff, you could be born and raised in Philly. Most people don't care about this stuff. They just call North Philly, North Philly, South Philly, South Philly, West Philly, West Philly, you know what I mean? Or like they know general areas being this neighborhood or general areas being that neighborhood. But many people don't know that these lines that divide the neighborhoods exist. If you don't know that stuff, you're not really gonna um, know where you're at at any given time. This is the health center on our left. Again, if you need free medical care, you can go there. Make sure to go early. You wanna go very, very early because usually the times that they provide free health care, there's lines. Wow, truck, sheesh. He was going to play chicken with us. We're going to make this left-hand turn on 3rd Street. I'm just going to wait until traffic goes by because I don't want to play chicken with anything. All right, let's, let's go. That UPS store right there in front of us, they made it recently. I would say eight years ago, give or take. All right, this is the building I was talking about on our left. That's called the Old Kensington Pavilion or pav yeah, Pavilion. I'm sorry, Old Kensington Pavilion. All those properties on the right are new. If we go right, we're gonna go to that whole construction site where the guys were flagging us to go, and I'm not gonna go through that again. So Third Street turns into Germantown. If you ride the SEPTA bus, this is where the SEPTA bus comes through. This this lady has been trying to pass me for several minutes. She's been behind me trying to pass me. She was just about to cut us off until she realized. There's more traffic mess over here. You're cutting us off to get stuck in more traffic. All right, let's go straight. We're at Master in Germantown. We already made a left. I've documented straight before, but not in 2023. Um, when we go straight, this property on my right, I read an article saying that 
Look at these new houses on our left and more new houses on our left and more new houses on our left. All different variations of new houses. These luxury apartments on the right, these buildings, the one on my right, the very first one, I read a news article that said they received a grant. That's a $6 million project. You heard what the number that I just said? $6 million project for one of them very large luxury apartments. Mind you, imagine how many luxury apartments we just passed. Oh, snap. They put something in that lot too on our left. Jesus, Louisa's. Reese's Pieces? Dang. That is incredible. So all of the students on our right-hand side that are in that schoolyard, they wear the proper attire based on their religion and their religious beliefs. They have the head garments and everything. All the little girls have the head garments and stuff. So that's pretty interesting. That's one of the only schools in the area that cater to that audience, to those residents. And I think that's pretty cool, you know, because it gives them a place to study and to be amongst like-minded individuals while growing up. Look at new properties on our left, new properties on our right. Yep, it's kind of like that movie, Nothing But Trouble. When uh, Humpty Dump comes out talking about some all around the world, same song. I've been all around the world. Let's make this left here. <laughs> all around the world, same song. Yeah, so gentrification has been happening all throughout the country, guys. In a lot of areas throughout the country, we've seen neighborhoods that looked run down. Go ahead, birdie, cross. Tweedle, tweet, tweedle, tweet, tweet, tweet. There was a little teeny weeny bird in the street. So, yeah, um, it has been incredible seeing the amount of, of development throughout the country, guys. It's not just Philadelphia. Even Chicago and, and I would say some areas of Detroit and so on. You know, because what happens is... In areas like this, well, I can't say this area any, anymore, but areas that are falling apart, those areas, you can get them for cheap. So if you're an investor and you know the areas on the rise, you know, 15, 20 years, if I told you, if you invest $10,000 right now, or you invest, example, twenty dollars to $40,000 right now, but in 20 years, it's, it's going to net you $600,000, would you? Some smart individuals might, because they might consider that a good investment. Well, people who are wealthy or who have a couple hundred thousand dollars, couple million dollars to their name, let's make this left on Cadwalder. A couple million dollars to the name, they won't mind making these investments. You know, they have to scale the risk. You know, with any investment comes risk, but in order to make money, you gotta be willing, ouch, to scrape up your car like me. <laughs> you gotta be willing to risk. You know, you have to weigh out the risks, and that's what they're doing, and hey, a lot of them are banking, you know? They are banking, buying these empty lots for only forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars if that. I'm sure plenty of them were sold for eleven grand, twelve grand, fifteen grand. Put a hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of wood and, and, and materials on the property, right? And boom, cash out and they sell them for top dollar. They sell them for four, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars. What is that netting them? Two, three hundred dollars, two, three hundred thousand dollars profit on each plot, on each piece of land? So, you know, you, pardon me, the hustler in me, I can't blame them. Because I understand, you know, you got to make a dollar. But the local lifelong resident in me is kind of gut-wrenching. But I always knew this was going to happen. This is enough and new. I attended meetings back in the year 2000 and 2001, community meetings, when I was only, you know, 11, 12, 13 years old. I was probably one of the only youth in my community involved in these community meetings, speaking up in front of, of representatives such as Angel Cruz and so much more, um, speaking on behalf of the community and, and, and you know, what our community needs and, and, and what not. And um, they showed us the empowerment zone blueprints of what this neighborhood was gonna look like in 20 years. Before American Street turned to what it is today, I knew that as a youngster, I went all through middle school, all through high school, even through college, knowing what my neighborhood was eventually gonna turn into. The last 10 years, it kind of went on like, fast forward, we're at third, Look at this, brand new, brand new, y'all. And the last three or so years, it was just fast forward and it happened at such a rapid pace. It's, it's, it's amazing. You know, I'm, I'm happy for my community, but you know, I just hope that the people who, who want to stay here are able to find means to stay here. And the ones who want to part ways and are ready to move to Florida, Cali, China, Europe, Mexico, Dubai, wherever you guys want to move to, more power to you, you know? Sometimes we are meant to 
outgrow our neighborhoods and there's nothing wrong with that. I shot a music video once at this corner before. We're at the intersection of 3rd and Cecil B. Moore. And once we cross Cecil B. Moore, we will no longer be in the old Kensington neighborhood.